Worldwide Sunday edition, the 23rd day of March 2014. We're going to be here as we are every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and back tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. I am doing this Sunday edition uh, from my home in Austin, Texas. And we are going to have riding shotgun back at the studio with a bunch of investigative reports and uh, breaking news. David Knight uh, running sh shotgun with us, riding shotgun with us. And Mark Dice, recently censored for his uh, pro-gun, pro-Christian uh, activities on YouTube, clearly censored. Uh, he's going to be joining us coming up at the bottom of the hour to talk about all the different ways they attack free speech uh, in this country and try to blackball uh, anyone who's not a communist uh, serving the offshore megabanks that are fascist. And so we're going to be looking at the Fairness Doctrine. We're going to be looking at Facebook censoring, CISPA, SOPA, Drudge being demonized for saying, as a small business owner, I'm going to go ahead this year and opt to pay the $5,000 fine on the income tax forms. And they had Yahoo News, just, just everybody, all the Democratic Party operatives come out yesterday and today. Uh, we're covering it at InfoWars.com. We have a Breitbart story. And say he's a complete liar. Uh, you know, basically, there is no $5,000 fee or fine. They either say that lie, which is the 100% lie, or they say, oh, it, uh, the mandate doesn't start till next year. Well, for individuals, not for businesses. My accountants are telling me the same thing. And I've got enough crew members to pass the threshold to where if, if, if everybody doesn't get it or if I don't make them get it or if I don't somehow force them to have it, I, I get fined as a small business owner, as they would uh, list me. Really just a political activist that uses business to fund my operation. Most revolutionaries rob banks. I sell T-shirts and water filters and high-quality products. But the whole point here is this is getting really serious because they call you racist. Uh, they call you um, a fascist. They call you, when they're the fascist, they call you a hater when you promote the Second Amendment or national sovereignty. Or they go out and, and prey on their dumb readers and viewers on MSNBC, as they're doing today, and say that Matt Drudge is lying. There is no tax. There are no death panels. It doesn't increase your premiums. You can keep your doctor. The moon is made of cheese. Bill Clinton didn't have sex with that woman. Uh, it, it's just a new level of lying. And I don't mean to perseverate and obsess on Drudge. Uh, it's just extremely, extremely frustrating. Because, I, I mean, I go through this all the time as well. We go, here are the federal documents that they've got drones wa watching farmers. And AP and a bunch of others come out a couple of years ago and, and in every newspaper in the country basically smear me and say, I'm a liar, there are no drones. Even though our articles at Infowars.com had all the proof. And they play these games with people. The level of lying is simply ultra-massive. Now the system has become so discredited that they are moving towards trying to just shut us down and shut us up. So I want to give you the different attacks they're involved in today on the other side. Then we're going to look at the huge developments in Ukraine. Russians took over a Crimean military base that was supposed to be handed over in an agreement a week ago. The media is calling it war. Ukraine fears Putin ready to attack the quote. Soldiers seeing as troops storm Crimea base. Obama aid, possible Russia could enter Ukraine. Romney slams president for faulty judgment. And big breaking news on international pedophile rings from the UK to Mexico and good second Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Zach, this is Crystal Palace. Think NORAD has declared DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft.
the Whopper spends all its time thinking about World War III. Target selection complete. Time on target sequence complete. 22 Typhoon class submarines departing Petropavlovsk, turning southbound at Nordcap, bearing 095 degrees. Radar reports two unknown tracks are penetrating the Alaskan air defense zone. From the front lines of the information war. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. Are you prepared to destroy the enemy? You bet! Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll keep control, but we'll keep it here at the top where it belongs. Three, two, one. Impact. Shall we play a game? How about global thermonuclear war? Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All units confirm weapons targeted and ready, awaiting launch codes. We are in a launch mode. Do you really believe that the enemy would attack without provocation? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're in. Russians are still denying everything, sir. We have a Soviet submarine launch detection. I wish I didn't know about any of this. I wish I was like everybody else. James Ben. The only winning move is not to play. Yes. A strange game. The only way to win is not to play. I am Alex Jones, your host, coming to you from my home in Central Texas. And we have David Knight back at the Infowars.com news studios, where we produce weeknight news, 7 o'clock central every evening, and where I bring you the weekday syndicated radio transmission, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. central. This is the Sunday edition. We've had the weekday edition now for 19 years. Uh, or 18 and a half years, and then we've, of course, been doing for over six years the Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central transmission. The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I think that War Games intro is uh, proper because I've never been to Russia. I don't uh, agree with a lot of the things the Russians do or that Vladimir Putin is up to. But they've been actually moving away from communism more towards free market in many ways, and I do agree with that. And the wealth of the average Russian has been going up since 1991, uh, even though they've had a lot of problems. So, you know, I'm rooting for the Russians to make it and to basically have the American dream. Uh, I, I want the American dream as well. Uh, that said, uh, Putin's been totally defeated. Uh, in the last few months. Uh, the EU could not get the Ukrainians to vote to join the European Union and be looted by the same central banks that have been looting Greece and Spain and many other countries. Uh, and so they went and started a civil war, overthrew the government, and uh, NATO-backed uh, rebels took 93% uh, of the country. The Russians took their military bases on their border in, in the Crimea and their naval bases, uh, and basically have seen 90 plus percent of the country that they were somewhat controlling taken over. The media spun it that, oh my gosh, the Russians invaded, they're so horrible. Uh, if you follow the news like we do, and we covered this last week, uh, it was the deadline last Sunday for the Ukrainian military to pull out of Russian military bases that they had taken over. One commander refused to leave. Uh, and so the Russians went in with armored vehicles, blew open the wall, and the military there, the Ukrainians, stood down uh, when the Russian special forces came in and they arrested them. And uh, our media is trying to act like it's the beginning of World War III. Uh, and it certainly could be if they keep pushing the Russians. But the truth is NATO and the EU just took 90-plus percent of the country. And then the Russians simply grabbed their pipelines and their industrial area that feeds gas and oil to Europe and their military bases. And the United States would do the exact same thing uh, if it was something like Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, which they kept after Fidel took over in uh, 1960. It's the exact same issue. Uh, the West is trying to start a war with Russia. Uh, not America, but the same globalist interests that run the EU. See, the EU is run by corporate interests that are not free market. So it's not just the Chinese, the Russians, the U.S. that, that are players on the global scene with the British and French and uh, Germans to a lesser extent. The big player is the multinational corporations that operate just like governments and are above the law and have diplomatic immunity and basically pay no taxes, who are always lobbying 
J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, uh, Microsoft, Google, they give money to the anti-gun groups. They give money to the enviro-Nazi groups that want to raise taxes on families and businesses because they're all exempt. They are the people running the world into the ground on record. They're the enemy. They're the ones perching on top America. They're the ones trying to start war with Russia. They're the ones sucking Ireland and Greece and Spain dry and Iceland. They're the ones creating 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives and trying to sign us on to them. And they know people are waking up to this worldwide, so now they're moving to try to censor media, mainstream media, alternative media, print media, internet media, uh, everywhere, people are being censored. Demonstrations, hanging up signs, handing out flyers all over the country is being outlawed. We criticize Russia when they do that, but then it's happening here. First Lady uh, Snapping Turtle, Ob Ob Obama's wife, uh, Beard, uh, fake wife, whatever she is, like, you know, like Hillary was a fake wife for Clinton, that's now admitted. Arranged marriage, totally fake. You know, he's chasing every woman he sees, Hillary's chasing every woman she sees, but side issue. Um... The point is, is that she goes to China and says human rights off the table. China will kill you if you criticize the government. China puts Falun Gong practitioners, peaceful Buddhists, in prisons, blood types them, and then sells their organs because they don't use drugs and have good organs. I mean, our government won't even criticize Tiananmen Square now on the anniversary. So there's all these different forms of corporate funding, foreign interfering, you know, the Chinese government censoring what can come out in movies or in print. I talked to authors like Michael Savage. He was told point blank, you know, your, your latest book's not going to be sold because the Chinese government doesn't like it. That's a guy who's had like 40 best-selling books. Uh, th this is serious. They're trying to keep Rush Limbaugh from winning an award for his children's book right now, trying to disqualify it from a contest. This is the censorship we're seeing, and you may have heard these headlines here on the air when Infowars.com writes articles about them and DrudgeReport.com, the number one news site in the world, picks them up and carries them. You may have heard these uh, headlines. Co uh, Californians sign petition to allow soldiers to commandeer anyone's home. College students sign petition to imprison all registered gun owners. Obama supporters sign to repeal First Amendment, sign petition. And then the story ends up being on Fox News, CNN, after we push it out there. It's a ripple effect, and they don't like that. Mark Dice's video, some of them had 5 million views apiece. In fact, more. Uh, and his videos were getting bigger and bigger each time, just like ours are. What did Google do? They took down both his channels two days ago. Both his channels. And they did it with the super mods that the government has gotten them to approve and it was only because I had contacts, and I don't like to talk about this, but there are good people inside YouTube and Google, that I was able to put Dice in contact with senior people who saw that it was basically fake moderation to restore his channel 30 minutes ago. And I don't like to talk about our connections and things, folks, but it's a war to bring you this radio show. It is a war to bring you news articles. It is a war to bring you these videos. It is a war. And there are good people in the FBI, good people in your local school, good people in the police department, good people at the local corporation, good people uh, in Google, good people in Microsoft. And it's a war, folks, with different...